Yes, new red-handed denial. I love this band. And I've actually done a whole course on singing and aggressive vocals with lead singer Lauren Babick. You can check out that link in the description or the pinned comment. Let's see what this latest release has brought us. to get excited about here and unpack. And thankfully, since I've done a course with Lauren and spent lots of time with her, I have a pretty good idea of the approaches that she's using to get these amazing sounds out of her voice. Now, Lauren is able to, and especially in this new song, the range of her screams just sounds amazing. In order to get her sound, even for the lows, she rarely uses the Will Ramos like false chord traditional uh, sort of sound. She uses the upper constricted and then will shape with her mouth to get things lowered. And at the same time, we'll work on bringing that constriction a little bit lower, that compression a little bit lower in the throat as she shapes her mouth. You can get pretty low, yeah, without going to the oh, sound. This also allows you to be really rangy. You try to fucking break. Oh, I love how she inserts little bits of her primary chord engagement in there. <laughs> when you're juxtaposing my voice and her voice and how, how beautiful her voice sounds in those transitions, it doesn't sound quite right, but that's essentially what she's doing. She's abandoning into that upper constricted sound. That sigh was particularly cool right there. Using both of these techniques bridges the gap in intensity and allows her to be really intense with her voice and not lose that when she goes to a scream. You're not welcome here! Back to that technique. Just beautiful, beautiful presence and placement with her voice. Her contrast just gets me all the time. The Listen to that approach. That onboarding there is amazing. Now that part. 
part right there. Listen to how she's she's choosing certain notes. There's still a, a pitch there, but she's adding that screamy grit over the top. This is, again, a, a pitch basis scream. Paralyzed and victimized. No. Paralyzed and victimized. Yes. If you were to break that down, paralyzed and let your voice crack and compress right when you feel your voice cracking, right when you feel it breaking while thinking that maintained pitch. Victimized, victimized. Yes. Right there. Listen to how she sighs. She she takes that word again and belts that note. Really a forward, powerful sound, and then releases out of it with this. Yeah. This is one of the hallmarks of a lot of great singers, and you really notice how much it brings out this emotional connection with the melody, because it's not just notes being sung in very static ways. So much dynamic. And even right there where she starts in her head voice, Say control of me again. So much going on in that one little phrase. Now, do you hear the difference in placement and intensity and also the broadness of frequency response between the screams that she was doing over the melody when she was singing and those? Those are are thinner sounding. They include little to none of her original of her primary chords, and therefore there isn't as much Lauren quality in them, although because she's blending them in with so many different approaches and techniques, we still know that like, oh, that's part of Lauren's thing. She has these diverse sets of engagements with her harsh vocals. That's a fuller scream. Versus Kiss it out. Watch it die. What? That is a sheenier sound. Die. And it's it's more controlled when it comes to the frequency response and and airflow. Less abandoned. No less cool though. And awesome that she's using so many different approaches. There's also some awesome doubling where she's using even lower pitched um, positioning panned outward, which is super cool. There's a nice heated, compressed singing sound there on Drift Away. Listen again. Drift drift away. Drift away. Hear how she grew that? Started in head voice and then transitioned into a chest voice. And then compressed. So this is the same technique as adding constriction over normal breath. Except now she's holding a note. Hey! 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 Hey!
I like that articulation a lot. So light, take control of me again! And growing that phrase. If you don't arc phrases in your own singing, if you're just about hitting the notes, you can't get anywhere near the connection with your listener. Part of the reason her voice is so compelling is because she covers all dynamic ranges sometimes, even within a particular phrase, sometimes even in one note. Now there, we have die, which is that false chord, low engaged, uh, sigh based uh, distortion on the wings as we have the die shaped and in the center. What a groove. Watch it die, watch it die, you parasite. Watch it die, watch it die, you fucking parasite. Ugh, I gotta hear that in again. <laughs> watch it die. Great song. Hooky, catchy. Vocal performance is spot on. I love the grooves. I've done quite a few other videos on this channel with Lauren Babick. Check out this playlist if you'd like to get more into her style. And if you want to get really deep into her style, be sure you check that link in the pinned comment or the video description and check out her full-blown course. We'll see you for more.